This video walks you through a typical user acceptance test plan page by page to assist you in understanding why this testing is one of the most critical elements in the various steps in application development and also to understand the individual elements of a professionally developed UAT. Several factors contribute to the importance of making UAT testing absolutely mandatory for any software development effort including the following. Reducing the cost of developing the application. Minimal savings that might occur in the early stages of the development cycle by delaying testing efforts are almost certainly bound to increase development costs later. Ensuring that the application behaves exactly as documented reducing the total cost of ownership. By providing software that looks and behaves as shown in your documentation, your customers require fewer hours of training and less support from application subject matter experts and developing loyalty and word of mouth market share. We'll step you through the elements in a typical document starting with the cover page so you can envision all of the topics that contribute to a successful UAT. What are the elements that should appear on this page for ease of personnel to recognize what's in this document? What is the document title, the project name and version? Will it contain a confidentiality agreement to protect the company? And does it include the document number and sequential page numbering? The document will not be complete without a revision history so that the reader knows if they have the latest version of a document and what is the history of changes to the document. The copyright notice lets people know that they do not have the right to copy any of the information they are in and that all rights to the material are protected by this message. The table of contents allows people to quickly determine scope and volume of the document and find topics and subtopics of interest to them by clicking on that topic to move to the desired page. UAT testing supports the following goals and objectives which will verify the following. Functions, features, items, and calculations to be tested. Resources to be used and estimated testing time. The system can be used to perform the required business functions and processes. The system performs correctly as planned without error. System performance is acceptable and all requirements have been met through traceability from the documented requirements to the UAT scripts. Examples of test goals include that all functions, features, and items tested perform without error. Data integrity is maintained and functions and features respond correctly to error situations. Entrance criteria examples are that the requirements, design data, specifications, and the UAT plan have been approved prior to execution. Exit criteria examples are all test scripts have been executed, reviewed, and approved, and all incidences identified were logged and resolved. The test approach includes listing the functions, features, and applications to be tested. Test categories may include beta, functionality, regulation acceptance, contract acceptance, operational acceptance, black box testing, and more. Risk, dependencies, assumptions, and constraints should be identified before testing begins to alert quality assurance personnel as to the limitations that may impact their testing process.
Provide information about the major testing tasks and the approximate runtime to test each one. Functionality that will or will not be tested will be dependent upon how much testing will be accomplished. You may choose to only test a subset in the original passes. The test environment may include specific hardware or commercial testing tools that must be identified. For the test plan schedule, create a list of the tasks, the number of days allocated for testing, and the estimated start date and end date. List all the people who will be responsible for testing by identifying their role, project manager, test manager, etc., a description of their responsibility, and who the role has been assigned to. Utilize the test plan schedule to summarize pre-testing conditions. The assumptions, preconditions, and risks should also include all dependencies and constraints. The test instructions will list each step number and identify the specific step-by-step -step instructions that the tester must execute, the expected result, whether it passed or failed, and any pertinent comments. The test completion summary identifies the test number, tester's name, date executed, a description of the test, and whether it passed or failed. Use the priority and status tables to identify the criticality of each defect. The priorities range from critical to high to medium to low in order that management can make a decision as to the path to follow to either correct the anomaly, use a workaround solution, or use the function recognizing that it satisfies the intent but contains inconveniences or annoyances. The glossary has already been started with critical terms in this fill-in template. These project management forms can be branded to your organization by customizing numerous parameters, including your company name and logo, copyright statement, and more. As with any office document, you can then optionally make changes to the content at any time. Our project managers, business analysts, and technical writers have been adding forms and templates to our ever-increasing inventory since 2007. To view our inventory, simply click on either the form name presented in this video or the waterfall or agile package or individual forms links on this page to view information on our professionally developed documents.